this is Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. Today we are going to uh, do the uh, woolen prep spin or the contrasting color for the Vitus Mirror shawl that I drum carded in part one. So this is the uh, contrasting color that I'm gonna use for the shawl. And um, I showed you how I uh, made this, which is a two alpaca to one merino ratio on the drum carter. And it's oh, so soft and floofy. Uh, this is um, 85 grams and 86 grams respectively. I'm going to uh, go ahead and start spinning this up. And I'm gonna do two separate singles on um, two separate bobbins. And I'm going to spin it at the same weight, uh, which is the sport weight that we're shooting for for the end yarn as these two bobbins uh, of the uh, sunflowers and blue skies. For this, uh, Here's my bat. I'm just gonna rip chunks off. Oh, look, here's a chunk right here. Uh, and uh, you know, this is all homogenized, so it doesn't matter how I pull this off. I can pull it off in strips and chunks, and um, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna start with uh, my wheel set up basically the same way. I, I set up my sunflower singles. And we're going to spin the singles, Z, and we're gonna apply S. And again, this is a woolen prep fiber, so we're gonna see um, how much this compresses here. I might actually end up, I can tell already that I'm gonna need to take some of this twist, uh, some of this draw off because uh, it's already, I think, got a lot of twist in it. So, ooh, actually, wow, that looks good. I think I need to be a little thinner though. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's, all, that's pretty thick. So I'm gonna to need to spin this thinner, which already shows you that the uh, woolen prep is gonna poof more. Um, my single on here is, well, it's a little thick for the single too. I'm gonna to say that that's a 14, um, maybe a 16. So let's go uh, a little bit thinner and see, because I want this to be more of a 22. And let's see what this is. There we go, that is a 22 right there. And let's just see how we do with the um, twist on this for our plyback test. Oh, that looks lovely. Now the 22 here and the 22 here, this is giving me a little bit thinner of a yarn. Um, and I think that's because this is compacted. Uh, I'm going to uh, shoot for a 20 single and we'll see what that looks like. I think what I'm gonna do is take a little more of that tension off, a little draw off. There we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. That is more like it. That might be a little thick. Yeah, still a little thick and not enough twist. Yep. That one is 20. So let's see how that compares to, oh, that looks nice. It looks a little thicker though. So I do think I'm gonna have to continue to spin this thinner. Even the 20 looks a little thicker than my, uh, the sport weight that I have, because again, it's gonna poof a little bit more. And you can see the difference here. These are the two from the comb top. And this is my worsted prep here. And it's still, it's a little bit thicker than um, what I have here. I may end up just doing a nice long draw and seeing uh, how thin uh, this will uh, floof up when I spin this woolen. Let's see, nice long draw here. Let's see what we get with this. I think we have it. Yep, I like it. Now it's the right size. Um, it's matching the other one. So I'm gonna be doing a uh, single at a, this is a 24, at a 24, 24. Let's talk about long draw. A woolen prep fiber lends itself to uh, doing a woolen spin, which is the long backwards draw. Um, I find the easiest way to do this 
is to uh, use my double treadle wheel as a single treadle um, because uh, I use an office chair, which I did not put the arms on. It can adjust height, it can um, swivel in order to preserve your back and your shoulders because when people are long drawing, you're sitting facing your orifice, uh, you twist from the waist and you're pulling back uh, you know, to draw in your arm and shoulder, typically you tend to like get it back here like this and that can cause uh, overuse issues, rotator cuff problems, your back gets sore, all kinds of stuff. Um, so what I do for this is uh, I sit off to the side of my orifice and I'm using one foot on the double treadle and we'll just get this going. Now for long draw, I am going to just pull backwards with the uh, drafting triangle here. And as I do that, let me get this on here. I'm holding this loosely. Don't let the twist accumulate too much into the triangle. You want to very fluidly come out. And as I do that, I can rotate my chair and then let the twist accumulate in. I'm gonna do a little bit more to the side here. And you can see that now with my chair rotating, I can rotate and pull a lot further back without my arm being so far away from my body. My forward hand is just sort of guiding this fiber and my back hand is drawing out. And my elbow is staying at my side, um, coming away just a little bit because you know I'm always a little greedy with the long draw. <laughs> but you can see how much further I can get, hopefully it's on frame, um, how much further I can get with this position for a long draw. And it's much more comfortable because I'm not twisting my back and I'm not doing this like I would be if I was sitting in front of the uh, orifice. This is what the uh, bobbin looks like so far. And um, you know, you one, the gorgeous halo from the alpaca, which I adore. And two, the little tiny uh, little breakage from my drum carter on the naps uh, are gonna make it look like little clouds in the blue sky. I think it's gonna look really cool. I'm all ready to go with my singles. I ended up doing them um, about 22 after all and uh, we'll see how it goes. It might be a little thinner than sport weight. Uh, I'm hoping that because it's a woolen prep, there'll be a little bit of floof here. So let's see what we get. We'll go ahead and start this two ply. Uh, so we are going to be um, going the S direction. Ooh, that is very tight. I gotta take a little draw off of that. <laughs> there we go. And uh, same as uh, always here. I'm gonna have the uh, yarn parallel as I can, and then behind me. Oh, still pretty tight, let's see here. Somewhere in between there, there we go. Gotta get the right draw. I am hoping for a sport weight yarn, and I'm also hoping this is gonna fold a little bit when we're done. Stop and check here. So ply back test, nice gentle curve, open loop at the bottom. And let's just see what our angle of ply is. Right at 30, right on the dot. So I like that. So this yarn, I had the neps. Uh, my alpaca had neps in it because I used my drum carter and it's a super fine uh, fiber. The alpaca that I had is very, very soft very fine fiber and uh, it's not really made to go in my drum carter. I don't have a fine enough uh, carding cloth. Um, mine is good for fine fibers, but not very fine fibers. So it broke a little bit, and uh, but that's okay. I, I knew it would. And I um, have uh, some little necks in it. And I actually kind of thought that the, you know, in my alpaca, I just use naturals on dyes, so it's white. And I thought it looked like little poofs of clouds. So I decided that I was just gonna let it be. And um, I think it's gonna give us a beautiful yarn. There, you can see here um, that, you know, there's some of the, uh, well, actually you can hardly even see it on this one, little white um, neps here. Let me put just a tiny bit more uh, twist in it. Maybe we'll find a better area with neps. There. 
So right here you can see there's uh, some little white, little uh, textured neps, not very much, just enough to give it some fluff. And the alpaca has a gorgeous halo anyways, so I, I think it's gonna contrast nicely with that smooth Polworth, uh, and it's gonna end up looking like a, like a cloudy, poofy blue sky in with my uh, sunflower spin. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope it looks as good in real life as it does in my mind. <laughs> Let's see what we get. This is uh, coming off of the Nitty Naughty. Oh, well, that looks quite lovely. We'll go ahead and get this uh, set, and we'll see how uh, close we are to a sport weight yarn. I think I'm looking a little thin. I hope it poofs. That is. Mm, like a 16. So we'll see if this floofs enough. Yeah. Regardless, it's beautiful and I'm going to use it. The pattern calls for fingering weight yarn. I wanted to do sport weight because um, I didn't want it to take me the rest of my life to finish. <laughs> so I was going to use a thicker yarn. Um, but this looks really nice. Let's go set this twist and we'll uh, go from there. Here is the final set yarn and it did poof up to my sport weight so I'm really excited. Uh, here we have the sunflowers and blue skies with my alpaca drum carded blend. Now I have both my colors and I can start knitting on my Vitus Mir shawl. I will see you next time when uh, I will hopefully have made some progress on this shawl. Until then, spin happy.